The fox and Jack for the summer. I ain't got no fox. No. Got me at me, no color. That's nice. My fox died. Then died last year. What's your name, boy? Luke Baldwin. Good luck to you, Luke Baldwin. you is 
that you uh, be honest, keep your eyes open, and try to grow up to be a practical man. As a matter of fact, your father was saying to me uh, just, you know, just before the accident there, that uh, well, he said to me, uh, Henry, if, uh, well, you know, he was saying to me if anything ever happened to him, that uh, I'd take you and uh, raise you up here. This time's bleeding. Oh, yeah, that's, uh, that's old Dan. He tried to swap smiles with a bobcat or something. He's blind as a bat. We're taking him down to the vets now. Don't worry about him. He's old, he's tough. He doesn't feel much anyway. Now, where was I? Oh, yeah, about uh, you being practical and me raising him. Well, we'll talk some more about it at dinner tonight. Now, you walk old Dan into the vets real slow for me. You'll know what to do. I got to get back to the mill. If I don't get back for you, you'll ask the vet. He'll point you towards home. Uh, oh, Dan. Who are you, then? The father. Oh, yes. Well, then Henry's new boy. You're going to be living with him, huh? I'll just wait for Dan. Wait for him? Yeah, till the doctor will Well, I'm afraid no amount of doctoring is going to improve the health of this dog. Uncle told me to put him away. What do you mean? Kill him? Oh, no. No. Why? Well, Dan is old. I mean, really old. He's, he's 12. Well, that's almost 90 for you and me. Inspired, can't see a thing. More to the point, your uncle can't afford to keep a dog that's only got a hobbly skip to go anyway. That isn't practical. Sometimes it's a kind of Doctor him up and give him to me. Here's a five. It's all I got. You lay it all out for old Dan, wouldn't you? Keep the fine. Watch some of this yellow stuff on the cut every now and again. Okay? We thank thee, Lord, for this bounty you have placed before us. And we ask that you keep us mindful of the sins of waste, an idleness. And to that end, we do. Why, Dan? Where'd he come from? I'm putting away a dog, one that I have uh, had for 13 years. Henry, it's the boy's first night. Nothing more devilish to a family than disobedience. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. I'm sorry. You just words in the English language. I'm sure Luke's intentions were good. When I say do something in this house, it's done. Any mistake in that? No. Well, 
Bible, you think about it then. So you and I can get along. There's porch up here before the weather breaks. Come on. This is my uh, tool shed. Your job is to sleep. I want you to get up all the savings and saw us and stuff. I want you to sleep up in here, too. We got a big job in here this weekend. I'm going to paint this truck. Go on, no sawdust flying around. I'll be down the mail. You see, you have I'm trying to see about your clothes. What's wrong with my clothes? Not practical. Unless you want to be a pencil pusher.
No. Not if you're delivering milk, I don't. Well, I think that Uncle Henry's truck quite. Henry Baldwin's truck is white. <laughs> you get mad? Uh-huh. <laughs> we'll get him some white coveralls and a milk roll in the morning. Oh, ma. Oh, he won't dare show up at the mill. That's like painting a daisy on his T-shirt. <laughs> Ah, oh, Henry Ball is a practical man. Hard. Not liked as well as some, but he's a good man. Well, the only thing is, it's not exactly easy to live with. <laughs> Nobody is. We take the clatter and the silences, don't we? Enjoy the in-betweens. But you know what your Uncle Henry said to me? He said, Edwina, I sure want that boy, Luke. He did? He did. Adam made a little changes. Well, I've last factor made every time. No sense to pay good money for something that you can make yourself. See that nail? I remember that nail. It's got a little chip off the head here. Must have used it a dozen times around here. Made a baby crib with it once. Now, you see what I mean? No effort that's as good as new. What is the crib for? You don't miss a trick, do you? Tell you what, hand me up a piece of that tin. Uncle Henry? Hmm? Did you ever have any children? Well, I got you. You got me. That's enough, isn't it? Tell you what. Something out there by the garage for you to peddle to the neighbors. Something to sell? You don't know what to do with it. Thank <laughs> you. 
wind. Bird can't fly with wet feathers. Come on over in the front stoop. You know, man, stitch off the stoop and get his thinking sick to death, huh? There. There. You better? Good. You know, you could use a little home touch, you know that? <laughs> Why don't I go damp? Home? Only place to nurse a wear will I? Oh, you're wrong, you know. You just ain't found Henry yet. He's got to put on his hat. You know, think like him. Henry really doesn't want to put that dog down. Yes, he does. No, he doesn't, but he's a strong-willed man. His pride is hurt. And you've got to figure out a good, practical way that he can save the dog without hurting his pride. Think like him. Stop kicking at his gate. Now here's what you do. You go right over there. And you say, Uncle Henry. See the sun breaking through the clouds. I got me a job. Job, huh? Yeah, doing chores for Edwina. a fact. I'm getting paid. Yeah, well, how much? Two dollars a week. That's pretty good. Say 50 cents a week? 50 cents, huh? Well, that's it. That's one dollar dog to buy him some. And maybe the other dollar for my keep? Hi, Jingo, that don't bang the drum. You sit down here. Now, there is not enough money earned in the world to pay me to keep a boy that I like. No, sir. That's an honor and a particular trust, especially when it's you. Are you good my meaning? You're not very practical, Uncle Hmm? Practical. Well, no, sir, practical is, is one thing. As long as it don't get in the way of, uh, I... Way of what? Well, you know, uh, the way of, you know. Friendship? Yeah. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Yeah, sort of, uh... I'll tell you what, uh, you take this can here, and you put it on the cupboard shelf. And you put a dollar in there every week. So if I ever need a loan for Dan's key file, I'll just put it down. You see, if a man will look at a problem in a practical way, there's no reason he can't find an answer to it. 